In the previous video, we looked at the steps for solving a system of equations by using the elimination method, and I transferred those four steps over here. They're up here in the top right of your screen. And we're going to do just a few examples from this uh, first worksheet. Uh, this is worksheet 831 because uh, they're kind of easy, and I think you'll get the idea uh, doing that. So we'll just do three or four of these, and then uh, we'll do some, subs uh, some subsequent videos. That's a tough word to say. Subsequent videos where uh, we tackle some that maybe involve multiplying one or two equations uh, by different numbers and uh, some that are, are not in standard form. So uh, we'll do a few examples uh, from this first work worksheet for you, though. So in our steps, we want to go through these steps uh, using elimination method. And step one says that we first need to make sure that our equations are in standard form, which they are. And that uh, by doing that, that lines up the uh, variables for us. And if we're going to be adding these, we can only add like terms. So this is a, a way of getting those terms lined up for us. Once they're in uh, standard form, we want to look for coefficients of these variables that may be opposites. As we look at the coefficients of the x terms, we have a negative 3 and a negative 2. Those are not opposites, mm -hmm. so adding those together would not uh, eliminate that variable. However, when we look at the y coefficients, we have a positive 1 and a negative 1, which are opposites, and we know uh, from our understanding of additive inverses that when we add those together, that's going to be equal to 0. That's going to eliminate those variables, so we can jump down here to step number 4. We'll go ahead and add these equations together. That's going to eliminate that y variable, leaving me with an equation that just has the letter x in it, which allows me to determine the value of x. So adding these equations together, we're going to go across and add all of the like terms. So negative 3 and negative 2 is a negative 5x. The y, negative 1, uh, positive 1, and a negative 1 is 0, so I don't need to write 0, equals, and then we add negative 8 and negative 7 to get negative 15. So by adding the equations together, the variable y is eliminated, leaving me just the variable x, which, as we talked about, is the way that I can then solve this equation for the value of x. So we're going to divide by that coefficient now of x, because x is by itself. And in doing so, that's going to reduce down to 1, leaving me x. And then I've got negative 15 divided by negative 5, which is a positive 3. So I now know the value of x for the solution to my system. I still need to determine the value of y, but now I have an equation that I know that x and the number 3 are of equal value and therefore interchangeable. So I can go back to either of the two original equations substitute this value of 3 in 4x, which will take care of the x value variable for me, leaving me just the y variable. Then again, an equation with a single variable allows me to determine its value. So I'm going to go back to this first equation here and rewrite it. And when I come to the letter x, I'm going to substitute in the value of 3. So that's negative 3, and then uh, my letter x is 3. I write the rest of the equation. I now have an equation that has just the letter y in it, which will allow me to determine the value of y. So multiplying these together first, uh, and then adding the opposite of that 9 to get the y by itself, adding positive 9. That ends up being 0, and that leaves me with y on this side. Negative 8 and a positive 9 is a positive 1, so the y value of my solution is a 1. So the ordered pair, 3, 1, is the solution to the system. And I determine that solution by first eliminating the y variables because their coefficients were opposite. And then I was able to determine the value of x. Okay, so that's the simple part of elimination. Let's do a couple more examples. As we take a look at number three on your worksheet, and again, we want to follow our steps, we'll look and make sure the equations are in standard form, which they are. We then look for opposite coefficients. As we look at the x coefficients, they are not opposites for negative five. As we look at the y coefficients, a three and negative three are opposites. So we can jump down here to step number four. We can go ahead and add these equations together. And because we have opposites, that's going to eliminate that variable for us, leaving us just the variable x. 
So negative 5x and 4x is a negative 1x. 3 and negative 3 is 0. The y is eliminated. And then negative 8 and 4 is negative 4. I then need to solve 4x by dividing by that negative 1 sign, or uh, which will eliminate the negative sign. So that's a negative 1. That's a 1 there. Negative 1 and negative 1 uh, is divisible by itself. So that gives me 1. And then negative 4 divided by negative 1. That's two negatives, which makes that positive. So the x value of my solution is the number 4. I still need to determine the y value. And again, I know what x is now. I can go back to either of these two original equations in the system. And I can substitute the value of 4 in for the x, which is going to give me the equation with just the y variable left. And that will help me determine that. So I'm going to use the second equation this time. So we're going to substitute in this 4 here for the x value, 4. And by doing so, we now have an equation that has just the letter y in it. So we'll just solve the equation using our steps. So we multiply first. We are then going to isolate the y by adding the opposite of this to both sides. So this uh, 16 and negative 16 is 0. And then I have 3y, so I have that. And then 4 minus 16 is negative 12. I then am going to divide by that 3, or multiply by the reciprocal of 3. And in re doing so, I can reduce those 3's to 1. And this 3 reduces with that, making that negative 4. So y is a negative 4. So the y value of my solution is negative 4. So the ordered pair 4, negative 4, is the solution to my system that I determined using the elimination method. All right, I think we'll just do one more example here on this worksheet, and then we'll uh, jump to some more maybe complex problems or some that require a little bit more than just realizing that we already have opposites here. For number five here, again, following our steps, we look for equations to be in standard form, which they are. We then look for opposite coefficients. The 6 and the negative 6 coefficients of the x are opposites, so we can go ahead and use elimination using, uh, by adding these equations. So 6 and negative 6 is 0, so I don't need to write the 0 because I'm going to have negative 5 and negative 2, which is negative 7y, and then 10 and 4 is 14. That eliminates the x variable from the equation, which allows me then to determine the value of y. So I'm going to multiply it by the reciprocal of negative 7, which is dividing by negative 7. And that's going to solve this equation for me. So this negative 7 and this negative 7 reduce to 1, leaving me y. And then this negative 7 reduces with this 14, leaving 2. That's 2 over negative 1, which is negative 2. So the y value of my uh, system solution is negative 2. Now I can go back to either of these two equations and substitute in this negative 2 for any y value. That will eliminate or remove that y value from the equation, giving me an equation that just has the letter x in it, allowing me to determine the value of x. So I'm going to go back to this second equation and use that equation. So we're going to have 6x minus 5, and then for y, we're going to substitute in the negative 2 that we just determined is the value of y. And then we're going to have an equation with just the letter x, which we can then simplify or solve for x to determine the value. Negative 5 times negative 2 is a positive 10. We're then going to add the opposite of 10 to both sides to get the x term by itself. So that's 6x is equal to 0. We're then going to divide by 6, or multiply by the reciprocal of 6. And by multiplying by the reciprocal, those 6 is reduced to 1. And 0 times anything is just going to be 0. So the x value of my solution is the number 0. So the ordered pair 0, negative 2 is my solution to the system that we solved using the elimination method.